Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that if a function where r belongs to r, it's given by a function that says f of x is equal to x plus 1. Then the question is asking us to figure out the value of limit n tends to infinity 1 over n and in the bracket we have been given f of 0, f of 5 over n, f of 10 over n, f of 15 over n and so on till f of 5 into n minus 1 divided by n. So we have been asked to find the value of this entire function that is given to us and the answer choices if I talk about they have been given as 3 over 2, 5 over 2, 1 over 2 and 7 over 2. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for this entire expression of the limits given to us. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it also motivates me to make better content for you so you understand it in the most simple terms that we can present it. Let's see how to solve the question further now. So I have been given f of x is the function x plus 1. And for that, I have also been told here that we have different functions given to us. So let's figure out all the functions individually first. So f of 0, it gives you 0 plus 1, which is 1. f of 5 over n, so I get from here 5 over n plus 1. f of 10 over n, which is 10 over n plus 1. Then likewise, we have the last function as f of 5 times n minus 1 divided by n, which is nothing but same 5 into n minus 1 divided by n plus 1. So we have all of these functions with us. Now, once I have all of these functions with us, I will just add them first. Then we'll put it in this expression. So let's first add all the functions. So if I add all the functions f of 0 plus f of 5 over n, plus f of 10 over n, likewise, till f of 5 times n minus 1 divided by n. So this gives you basically 1 plus, this is 5 over n plus 1, 10 over n plus 1, and likewise, till this gives you 5 into n minus 1 divided by n plus 1. So we have all of these functions added. If I see here, basically, what is happening is, you are adding this one in every term. And basically we have here last term as given to us n minus one, which starts from the multiple of five times one. So this are your n minus one terms and this is your one term. So basically you have n terms in total. So this one, which is getting added, that's getting added n times. And apart from that, if I see from the second term onwards, we have this expression or the ratios that are given to us, which is 5 over n, 10 over n, 15 over n, and so on till 5 times n minus 1 over n. So once I have this, if I try to convert this also, 1 is added n times, that's basically n plus. Here if I see, I have 5 over n, 10 I can write as 2 times 5 over n, then you have 3 times 5 over n, and so on till n minus 1 times 5 over n. So once I have this expression, I have n already. And the second part of this expression, if I see, from there, I can take out 5 over x in common. So you are left with 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n minus 1. Now, once you have n minus 1 terms added, let's see what I get. So n plus 5 over n into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus till n, we know that whenever you have this natural numbers added, so n natural numbers, when I'm adding it, it gives you n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Now here in this expression, instead of adding n terms, you are adding n minus 1 terms. So I'll replace all the n's by n minus 1. So your sum becomes 
n minus 1 into n minus 1 and plus 1. So that basically makes it n only divided by 2. So this n and this n gets cancelled. We are just left with n plus 5 over 2 into n minus 1. So you have this sum. Now, once I have this sum, I have been also told that you need to multiply this entire expression with 1 over n. So if I'm multiplying this expression with 1 over n and the sum we have already figured out n plus 5 over 2 n minus 1. So if I see, I get from here 1 over n and if I solve this also n plus 5 over 2 n minus 5 over 2. So that gives you 1 over n n plus 5 over 2 means 1 plus 5 over 2, which is 7 over 2 n minus 5 over 2. If I multiply this n throughout, I get 7 over 2 minus 5 over 2 n. So I have this entire expression. Now the question further, we have to just apply the limit. So if I see the question was telling limit n tends to infinity, 1 over n, f of 0, f of 5 over n, f of 10 over n. And this was there till f of 5 times n minus 1 over. So once I have this, I can just write that as limit n tends to infinity. 1 over n into this entire thing, we have got this as 7 over 2 minus 5 over 2. And once I have this, if I just use the idea of limits here, putting the value of n as infinity, get this as 7 over 2 minus this becomes 5 over 2 and limit n tends to infinity gives you this as 0. Because I'm putting infinity here in the denominator. So 1 over infinity is basically 0. That gives you the answer for the question. And that matches with 7 over 2. Which I see here, it matches with option D. So D becomes a correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So we just added the expressions inside the bracket trying to simplify them according to the function given. Once we added, we tried to take out some terms common, which was one that was added n times. And then the remaining expressions, I also took out five over n common. So that gave me addition of this n minus one natural numbers that gave me the expression as n minus one into n divided by two, which further, if I solved, I got this. I divided this entire expression with n that gave you seven over two minus five over two n. And then I just applied the limits that gave me the answer as 7 over 2, which basically matches with option D. So D becomes a correct answer for the question here that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve these questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel. And share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.